Hey guys, so today I'm going to recreate Blake Lively's look from the Cannes Film Festival. The one where she had the long plaited ponytail. So, we're going to begin. To begin with guys, I'm just going to take my soft ochre paint pot from MAC across the lids just as a base. I'm also going to take a little bit of that under the eye. So, Blake Lively has a really beautiful sort of smoky eye, but it's it transitions into a bronze shade over the lid. So today I'm using Woodwinked from MAC, which is a beautiful sort of gold brown shimmery color from MAC. But you can use whatever eyeshadows you like. You don't have to use what I'm using. I'm just going to take that across the lid and then all the way up so that if you do have a hooded eye, you can still see the color up above your crease. Sort of like a soft color wash. So we're taking that colour all the way up to just below the brow. And I'm just going to take a clean fluffy brush and just blend that top edge just so that it's seamless and pretty and no harsh lines. I'm then also going to take a little bit of that just on the same brush underneath my eyes. Next I'm going to go in with Smut from MAC which is sort of a charcoal colour with a little bit of a metallic sheen to it nothing too intense. You can use, as I said, whatever products you like just to recreate the look. So whatever you've got at home. So with that smart, I'm just going to press that onto the lid over the top of Woodwinged. And we're going to keep this generally on the mobile lid. We're not going to take it too high. I'm then going to take that fluffy brush that I used earlier and I'm just going to blend across the top edge of the smut. We're just taking a little bit of woodwinked on that blending brush we're going to blend across the top edge. Just gently. Please excuse any background noise. There seems to be like a whole school of kids outside my window. So for the lower lash line, I'm just going to take Smut on a little, it's called a liner brush, but it's like a flat one. And I'm just going to put that right up close to the lower lash line. So after we've put Smut on our bottom lash line, we're just going to line our waterline, both top and bottom. I'm just using a scandalized waterproof Col Kajal from Rimmel, but you can use whatever eyeliner you like. I'm then just going to take a little bit of Woodwinked on a small detailer brush, and I'm going to run that along my lower lash line, just sort of below the black. So I'm just going to take a lighter gold tone and this one I got from iMats actually which was only about $3 so I'm not sure of the brand but it was just a cheap one so whatever gold, lighter gold tone you like you can use. I'm just going to take it on that same small brush and just press it along the lower lash line sort of underneath the black. I'm then just going to take a clean fluffy brush and just blend those edges just to make sure everything's looking beautiful. And on that same fluffy brush, I'm just going to sweep a little bit of that lighter gold color just across the top of the crease where the wood wind is, just to sort of, it'll pick up, the light will pick up that iridescence. So I'm going to go onto the skin at the moment. I've already done my brows, as you can see. In the look, Blake's brows weren't particularly over groomed or anything and as she is quite fair they weren't too defined um, so you can do your brows as you like. I do also have a brow tutorial so I will link that below if you need help with um, how to style your brows. So Blake's skin was really beautiful and luminous so today I'm using my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. I'm just going to rub a couple of pumps of that over the face. You can use 
any shimmering product you like. I like to wear this under the foundation just because it provides a beautiful luminosity but nothing too intense. You can mix it with your foundation if you like. So following that shimmering skin perfector as my base, I'm just going to take a little bit of green from my Graftobian palette and I'm just going to press it over my acne. And because I'm going to be using my beauty blender today, I'm actually going to conceal before I put on my foundation. Just because I won't be rubbing it out. Also from my palette, I'm just going to take a little bit of the orange under the eyes. Because this is a smoky look, it can enhance uh, a lot of the blue if you have blueness under your eyes. But these are very creamy, so you really do need to powder them under the eye area. And on top of that, a little bit of yellow, just for brightness. So to cover those pimples here, I'm just going to take my Even Better Concealer from Clinique. And I'm just going to press it over the top. I'm then taking my Anti-Blemish Foundation. I'm using the colour, I'm actually using a mixture of number 3 and 4. And I'm just going to blend this on with my Beauty Blender. As you can see, my body's a bit browner than my face just because I often will cleanse twice a day. So it takes off any tan that I have on my face. So you really want to match your foundation to your body because if you match it to your face and your face is quite pale, then you're going to look like you have like a floating head because it'll be a different color and it will look like it's not really attached to your body. With my Beauty Blender, just a tip, I'm going to take a little bit of all About Eyes Concealer from Clinique, just under the eye area there. I'm just going to stipple that in. And it's going to provide coverage as well as sort of like a highlight to give us those beautiful cheekbones like Blake Lively. And this is a great concealer to use with your Beauty Blender just because it's got a thicker consistency so it's really good to press it into the skin. So today I'm using my contour colour from my MAC Pro palette just on the same fluffy brush I used earlier for concealer and I'm just going to contour with that one just the cheekbones, sides of the temple and the forehead up here. Make sure you always put a little bit beside the temple that depth of colour here will um, highlight our cheekbone here. Blake doesn't have excessive contouring, but we don't all look like Blake. And so if there's something that you want to improve in terms of the appearance of your face, then contouring is a really great way. So it's really going to bring out our cheekbones and provide shadows where we want them. I always do a little bit along my jaw just because I've got such a square jaw. So I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just blend it out really. Just press over the areas and stipple and that's just going to make this appear a lot more natural. We want to sort of press the product into the areas where it already is. We don't want to sort of blend it around on the face. And you always use your Beauty Blender wet if you're not sure, because then it doesn't absorb all of the product, especially with your foundations and whatnot. So just to get a really beautiful glow that you would want if you're going to the Cannes Film Festival, I'm just taking my Dignity Highlighter from Face Stockholm, and it's a cream product. I'm just going to press it along the top of my cheekbone. The good thing about these sorts of highlighting creams is you can then take your foundation brush or even your beauty blender and blend across the top gently and that just makes it look like that the glow is sort of coming from within the skin rather than obviously sitting on top of the skin. I like to put a little bit in the center of my forehead there but it's up to you in terms of if you have acne there I would suggest not if there's any lines or wrinkles you don't want to be obvious and sometimes 
highlighting can just make them stand out. A little bit down the center of the nose. And if it's looking too obvious anywhere, just take your beauty blender and blend out the edges. I'm just taking some Ben Nye powder, translucent powder, and just powdering under the eye area there. Because although we want it to be really dewy and pretty, if you're going to the Cannes Film Festival, you'd want the product to last. So that's why we are powdering just anywhere where you would get creasing, which I do under my eyes, and we don't want any of our eye makeup to be blending with um, any wet products under our eyes, which can cause sort of panda bear eyes, which we do not want. I'm then going to curl my lashes and apply some mascara. Today I'm applying a Siren Lashes from House of Lashes. You can buy these online and they'll ship to Australia. So I'm just going to apply my little lashes there. I'm just going to take, oh, what's this? Sincere from MAC. And that's just sort of like a terracotta tone blush. You can use whatever blush you like and Especially one that obviously uses like a terracotta tone, but you don't have to use this one in particular. The good thing about terracotta tones is that you can use them then through the forehead as well. It sort of gives that sun-kissed glow. So for my lips today, I'm actually going to take my MAC Pro, ooh, my MAC Pro palette, and I'm going to take a mixture of these two. Um, colors down here. She was wearing sort of like a pretty pink tone on her lips. Um, I don't have the exact color so I'm just mixing a couple together to get the tone that I'm after. But you can, if you've got a particular lipstick you love, wear, wear that. Otherwise you can mix a couple like I am. So over the top of that, I'm going to take Plink from MAC, which is sort of an iridescent, really beautiful nude pinky tone. And then finally over the top, just to get a really glossy finish, I'm just going to take a clear gloss from MAC. So over the top of my lash seam, as you can see, there's a little bit of glue still drying. It will dry clear but I like to always then apply a little bit of black liner just over the top. Maybelline Eye Studio in black just with a little angle liner brush and I'm just going to press that over the top. I'm bringing it right into the middle of the eye there just to make sure it's nice and smoky. It doesn't need to be particularly winged out, but you can if you like. And then I've just got my hair in like a long plait like Blake had. I actually put in my extensions just around my pony there just to get that length, which she would obviously have as well. So we can all, you know, make a look similar to hers. And I would definitely recommend if your face is a bit, you know, more bronze than your body, um, get like an instant tanner that washes off or even fake tan for this look just so that you've got um, the same sort of colour across the body and, you know, you're going with that really beautiful bronze look like Blake. So this is going to be a look for anyone at all. Um, we can all wear this makeup, which is awesome. So I hope that you've enjoyed and um, I'll see you next time on Show Me Our Beauty. Bye.